great. So our company is cpay.us. Um, simple idea was that we all know that cards, plastic payment cards, are really insecure. A bad idea in the mobile age. So we have Google Wallet or other payment methods. We port those cards into the cloud, which means we have a pool of data that hackers can point at. And if they can break down the door and steal those numbers, they can take money out of your account. And that's dumb. That's, why would we do that? The only reason we do that is legacy technology. So if you get deep inside the payment industry, which I have been, uh, it's ugly. There's a lot of walled gardens and silos and people that want to play nice to each other, with each other. So our idea from the beginning was to get rid of plastic cards. And we would use mobile phones, and we would run transactions over the blockchain, and we would just skip Visa, because we don't need it. So our original idea was we saved a lot of money. One great thing about blockchain is its process automation. Um, and another element is, to oversimplify it, in our model, the bank sort of, with our help, talks to the blockchain. And then the blockchain talks to the merchant. And so there's no servers in the middle like a normal payment mechanism. There's no man in the middle attack. There's no servers to hack and somebody gets in the middle and they catch something that's going by like your card number and they steal it and you've got identity. We use mobile numbers as your identifier. So if somebody steals your mobile number, how much are you going to do it? So, um, that was our original plan, and then we saved a lot of money, and we decided, okay, we'll donate that to offset your carbon footprint, and people liked it, but they didn't really invest in it. People didn't really get behind it. But we were asked by banks to pivot and to service the cannabis industry. Our first reaction was, well, you know, we don't necessarily want to get our brand put into cannabis, but you know, Senator Merkley, Senator Wyden, State Treasurer Tobias Reed in Oregon, we originally were approached in California, said, look, this is a huge problem. You can't use plastic cards to buy cannabis. It's the second fastest growing five billion plus industry of all time. It's a massive market. And there is, you know, what we call the total addressable market. The can is monstrous. But there's no industry player, there's no leader, there's nobody that can do payments. When we looked at it, our payment system worked. So why is our system compliant? Well, basically by backup and in, for the non-technical audience, if you bought a piece of land and wanted to start mining for gold, now mining's a tricky word, I'm not talking about anything with Bitcoin or money, no. just <laughs> regular mining, the original <laughs> Um You would dig a hole and you'd lay some tracks, some, and you put some cars in there, you have some lighting and some ventilation, and once you had that system in, you could take lumber down, you could take rock out, you could, take, you could take people down. The cars don't care what's in them. So in the financial services industry, Bitcoin's dead. Don't get mad at me, I'm sorry for the Bitcoin people, and you can, you're entitled to your views. But my views start ground zero by when I was invited to the Federal Reserve and that network that I have, and it's, it's just not gonna happen. Bitcoin is digital gold in my view, and we need purchase money. Merchants don't want to hold Bitcoin, and there's tricks to get them out of it, but the point is they want dollars. And so what we've done is we've taken Bitcoin out of the car, and that, and that track and that infrastructure, a simple way of oversimplifying it is that's the blockchain, and we put digital USD. And that means we can make payments at the of money that are US dollars. Now there's a difference in this world between virtual currencies and digital currencies. Virtual currencies have nothing behind them and they're digital. But digital currencies are a currency that has an asset back. Sometimes we call that tethered. So our model is there is a US dollar on deposit in a financial institution and it's tethered or linked. It's a cryptographically sealed receipt or proxy for that dollar. So we can, in a local economy, trade the digital receipts, and theoretically, we create a pool of assets in financial institutions which they can loan out mm -hmm. and grow the local economy. That was our original mission, was to grow the local economy. Now we've pivoted to cannabis, 
Um, this is not a pitch, this is a blockchain talk. But of course, if you know, founders are always raising money. So I could play the video or I could just take questions. 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 The video is really short, a minute 40. Question. Could you play the video? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, just as a customer wants it, you know. Play the video. <laughs> okay. The, there's no words. Cannabis. Sorry. <laughs> Cannabis and Chase Bank get, and all those other payment processors get into this. When that happens, we go to Chapter Two, which was our original mission, which I talked about. We we use cards today because the merchant wants everyone to be able to, to be a customer. But then when we enroll financial institutions, we actually have a brand new payment network with zero, almost zero cost. Now we still have to pay the financial institution the authorization, which is about a third of what a piece of payment, and then we take some and then we donate the other third to charity. So the cost of merch is the same, the customers like having the donation. Why is it? Okay. Yeah. This, I mean, just from that yeah. 40 video, it just sounds like you built PayPal for cannabis. How is it different? Like, you know, some people call it PayPal for cannabis, but PayPal can't do this. Some people call it Apple Pay for cannabis, but they can't do this. We cannot do what we do without the Okay, that is what I want to know why. Yeah, so there was a question, it was a payment related question. Yeah. What is this going to do to solve problems? Right. And I can't take other questions because I'm timed out. The last thing I'll say is, for me, this is what the blockchain is. Decentralized applications distributed across a network that is like <laughs> the app store for business. The coins are going crazy. I, I have no interest in that. I used to be a derivatives trader, and once I go down that road, I can't turn it off. It's all the software. It's all the software that's built on top of it that is that is the real hype, which is why, to me, Ethereum is the only blockchain I care about. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.